But first, President Trump takes part in the time-honored tradition tonight of delivering the State of the Union address to a joint session of Congress and the nation. Good morning. It is Tuesday, January 30th. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. Right now, we have live team coverage of what to expect. Our Washington insider, Mark Sandalow, is on Capitol Hill. But first, KPIX 5's Ann Makovic is in the newsroom with more on the lawmakers who are boycotting his speech. Yeah, and this is the president's first State of the Union address, and he's going to be laying out what he wants before Congress and the American people. Among the talking points we're expecting, a promise of improved trade deals, a $1.7 trillion plan to revitalize infrastructure and a request to Congress for $25 billion to construct a border wall with Mexico. In exchange, he'll offer a deal on DACA by paving the way towards citizenship for 1.8 million young undocumented immigrants. It's a big speech, an important speech. We cover immigration and uh, for many years, for many, many years they've been talking immigration. They never got anything done. We're going to get something done. Now, some Democratic members of Congress, as Michelle mentioned, will boycott the speech, including Barbara Lee of Oakland. Others will take the lead of Bay Area Congresswoman Jackie Speer, who recently announced she's a victim of sexual harassment on Capitol Hill. She's asking others to wear black in support of the Me Too movement. And she invited this woman, Fatima Goss Graves, the founder of the movement, but she declined, tweeting, quote, I cannot attend an address that will elevate a hateful platform against immigrants. Senator Kamala Harris has invited Dania Joseph, an undocumented to DACA recipient from Southern California. East Bay Congressman Mark DeSaulnier invited a former member of the Army Reserves who says she was sexually assaulted by a superior. There are no records of her military trial. The congressman has been helping her find them, and we spoke with the two via Skype. I know it's uh, a kismet of circumstance and uh, the times that we are in, and I do realize that, but Mark has any number of hundreds of people that he could ask, and he asked me. Now, you may be seeing some new impeachment ads during this evening's address, courtesy of Tom Steyer. The billionaire Democratic donor has pledged $40 million to try to impeach Trump. Tonight's address is going to have tens of millions of viewers, so his message will be heard. The Democratic response will be delivered by Joe Kennedy III. He's the grandson of the late Robert Kennedy and the great nephew of the late President JFK. The 37-year-old will try to rev up the progressive base before the midterm elections. Kenny. And thank you. Well, the Russia investigation and the debate over DACA may threaten to overshadow the president's much anticipated speech tonight. Mark Sandalo joins us now. And, Mark, can the president deliver a bipartisan speech amid this fight? Michelle, I think it's fair to ask whether anybody could give a bipartisan speech in this climate. Climate. This is Washington at its magisterial finest. You know, the pomp, the circumstances. Now, you heard Ann mention that there are Democrats who are going to boycott. Most of them won't because they say they are there to honor the office, if not the man. Now, this is Donald Trump almost certainly reading from a teleprompter. When he does that, he tends to be much less provocative. There have certainly been other states of the union with this much noise in the background. 20 years ago, this year, Bill Clinton, five days after the Monica Lewinsky scandal broke, stood before that audience with everyone wondering, might even resign. He never mentioned the scandal. What's going to be interesting is the White House says it, the president will be reaching out to all America, not just his supporters. That's going to be interesting to watch, see what the president can say to all of America. All right, so then, Mark, uh, what, if anything, can the president say that might appeal to his critics on the left? Okay, well, you heard again, Ann mentioned infrastructure. That's something Democrats, building roads and bridges, that Democrats might support. But here's the problem. This month alone, Donald Trump has tweeted, Democrats are more concerned with illegal immigrants than our military. Democrats are all talk, no action. Democrats want to stop paying our troops. Democrats are intent on having people and drugs pour into our country. He also released a television ad that said that Democrats are complicit in murder. It will take miraculous words tonight to have Democrats greet him with any sort of uh, um, anything less than, than hostility. Well, I must admit, I look forward to your Whoppers of the Week. And we understand <laughs> a new California law is the subject this week. Yeah, you know, and, and Michelle, tonight's speech, immigration will be a big focus, and hyperbole and exaggeration has always been a part of this. So California has this new law taking start, starting in April, where when you get a driver's license, your name will automatically be forwarded to the Secretary of State to register you to vote if eligible. 
Those words, if eligible, were conveniently this week left out by a number of conservative news organizations. The World Daily News posted a story which said, California to register illegal aliens to vote automatically. That touched off more. Fox News said that there are concerns about California with fraud. The New America page said California law will automatically register illegal aliens to vote. The Daily Wire finished up with California policy could register massive numbers of illegals. And Coulter, Rush Limbaugh have been spreading this. It's not true. What will be interesting tonight is to watch President Trump and see whether or not he repeats this week's Whopper of the Week. All right, Mark Sandalo in Washington, D.C., thank you. And our coverage of today's State of the Union address begins at 6 p.m. right here on KPIX 5, followed by the Democratic response from Congressman Joe Kennedy III. You know,